What's up guys, it's Matt here, MJ's Garage, and back again. And as you just heard, that's a new update on the Tesla. But as you can see right below, we did purchase that Model Y, and we are super happy with our purchase. And we're going to talk a little bit about it, but uh, I like the new update. Uh, you can change the horn when it, when it locks. You can change what sound you want to hear, and it sounds like it's got an alarm on it. <laughs> But uh, it does. Not people. Uh, nobody can really break into these. I have seen a little bit of a hack, but anyway, that's besides the point. So we're here and talk about the Model Y Long Range 2023 that we purchased uh, probably a couple weeks ago. I just uh, um, just now getting this video uploaded for you. So let's check it out. So some of you are gonna say, "Oh man, these things have been out for a while. You know, why'd you buy this? Why'd you buy that?" Say, if you seen my video when we went to Vegas, we actually rented one of these through Toro, and my wife really liked it, and I really liked the uh, the Model X, but she doesn't like those bat wings. Now the other thing that what we had to decide is what was gonna be more practical for us and our family and the amount of driving that we're doing. Now, we could have got the performance with the nicer wheels, a little bit more power, but we still do have the Model 3 performance. Now, as you can see, that's the old Duramax right there, the Tahoe. But we're going to sit here and talk about this real quick. So, as you know, we live in the country, and the roads on in the rural areas some are good some aren't really that good so especially as much as my wife is driving i think the 19s are going to be more practical more tire more reliability and also better range what we're going to do probably is we're going to change out the hubcaps and we're going to go with a different style I'm not sure which ones this is my wife's uh vehicle so uh we're going to be can't do too much to it but uh, the nice thing is is we got the window tint on there we haven't tinted the windshield yet uh, but that'll be coming we got the new badging that's going to be coming here pretty soon to change that out we get rid of the chrome and put it put on the black um, um we're going to jump in on the inside real quick it's a little dirty but <clears throat> that means we're driving it it put the sunshade up already that's a must in these in the south. You got to have them because if you don't have them, well, if you don't have them, you're going to burn up in here. Right now, you don't need it, but uh, we're prepared. I'd also like to have a little bit of shade in here. It does have that tint on there, but um, it does let that heat in. But anyway, it's got the same interior is on a model uh on the model three that we have performance and i mean i just i i really like it the other thing is they have changed the horn oh it didn't change let's go to we're gonna go right here to horn and replace horn And you could change it to, I mean, you want to hear a uh, fart sound. <laughs> you know, uh, there's the lock settings, which pretty much are almost the same. Uh, you do have uh, the one random, so it changes every time. Um, you got the little goat. Uh, you got the, the quack. But um, I've got it on chirp, so... I mean, it's just a standard lock setting. I love when you get on the app, it shows it's ready for an update. It's like, hurry up, get that thing um, on the Wi-Fi, and let's see what's coming up. And you get to go in there, and you can check out some of the other things that they've added. Uh, one of the things that they added um, as well, on our 22, we did not have a heat sensor um, camera, which you still got... Uh, you got your cameras over there, but you guys know more about these than I do and um, At first when we got this There's just one thing that we didn't know is you can actually change the backup camera just to show the back 
And we were wondering why it wasn't showing the bottom, uh, it wasn't showing the left and the right side. And I was like, did we get robbed? Is that something that another thing that Tesla got away from? So now this is set up is obviously what I'm uh, knowledgeable enough about is they got away from the sensors and they went with this um, setup, but they've added the lines to it. So now when you're backing up, you can see that and it gives it a little bit more visibility and it helps you uh, stop. But some people were saying like in snowy conditions, which we don't really have to worry about too much down here. Uh, really not at all. But um, <laughs> if we're driving it somewhere else up north, but uh, the snow can cause some issues. But so far, so good. I got 80% range and we're at 256. Now, 80% range on the Model uh, 3 performance, we're somewhere around like 230, 232 at the most. And it's been, this, this car has really been uh, nice for us. And it's also a lot smoother. Um, if this is your first time or you're thinking about buying a Model Y, uh, it's a lot smoother than the uh, Model 3. To me, it's higher off the ground, easier to get into and you just can't go wrong so one of the things you can't see now because it's already dried up but we were getting condensation in our tail light and supposedly this is a common thing but this tail light's got all kinds of cracks in it so you can see that this tail light it hasn't been in any accident or anything like that um, but it's got cracks around the edge from possibly the sun and then i did see it on this side as well just a little bit but i don't see any cracks or anything in it um but yeah, they're supposed to come out uh, Sunday or no, they're supposed to come out next Tuesday and look at it and hopefully replace it. But that's something that we've never seen. They're trying to say, oh, well, it, it, it tends to happen. You don't notice it on the other lights. Well, I've had clear lights and I know they've been vented and they have a vent tube in there for the heat, but they're not supposed to allow that much moisture in now we're in the in florida we do get a lot of moisture so but it's a really nice car overall we've been super happy with it haven't put too many miles on it but we're fixing to start doing some more traveling uh with softball and so that's uh what we've been that's the plans for this vehicle and obviously my wife drives she drives about 90 miles a day um, back and forth to work so great uh, great purchase great buy for us now you might be saying well now you might be saying is matt why why didn't you why do you need another car i mean what well, you got a model three like why do you need a model y well uh just for um just so you know we gave our son that just graduated he graduated early uh, from high school and we gave him the model three and we traded in the Camry for this car, which we didn't owe anything on the Camry. Now, we purchased this vehicle, and I want to give you guys some um, pointers on this because I did my research. But if I would have bought this vehicle brand new, it would have cost me sixty, about $60,000 is the way that I wanted it. And this is only the five-seater. Now, they always show, oh, well, the tax savings and this and that. And you get down to roughly about $50,000. $50, but I was like, nope, we're not going to do that. Looked around, found one, had like 10,000 miles on it, and uh, got a really good deal at the dealership that I used to work at. And, I mean, for for forty for $42,000, you can't beat it. So... Uh, that's that's what we got and that was the reason why we invested in that we traded a car that we didn't have no, that we didn't have uh that we didn't owe anything on and i mean twelve thousand dollars um after we uh put down some money we we financed twelve thousand dollars and so 
we didn't have to finance the car but um we have a, a shared loan through our bank so we have money in cds that we can borrow off of and we still make money off of it so it's like why not right uh, we're not paying no you know five eight nine percent we're only paying three percent so it's a great win-win for us all around now just so you know we still do have the m3 yara edition and she is looking beautiful there excuse the uh clutter in here but um it's a tight space that's why we have the barn over there at this house and our other house we have the shop so this is a place where i can park it now we only are set up for the one charger as you can see over there but we do have another charger at the other house so we do have to move the cars out uh, when our son has to charge but that's all right but um i really love this car but hey you guys i appreciate everybody watching if you haven't don't forget hit the like button if you haven't subscribed don't forget subscribe because i'm always going to be real with you guys i'm always going to show you vehicles that i have that i that we use and i'm going to give you the best reviews that's out there of our opinion some other people might have other opinions on their vehicles but uh, we do do every seldomly we change things up and uh, we we like we like vehicles so we seldomly move uh, into something else but as you can see you still got the ram uh, we've had that for almost two years and that's probably the oldest vehicle that we've had uh, that's sitting here on lot right now but uh, besides the m5 the m5 is at our other house and uh, in the garage so it's uh one of those things you know um when you work hard you can play hard so anyway hey you guys have a wonderful day uh god bless you and uh we'll see you on the next one